YOLO, Composite Gloves here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to remove plugins from FL Studio. I've gotten this request a couple times. When you're new, it can be pretty frustrating. So you add a new plugin to FL Studio, and now you wanna know how to get rid of it because it ends up being something you're not gonna use. Uh, so there's two ways, well, there's two standards of this, I guess. One is to remove it so that it doesn't appear in your list, and the other is to actually remove it from your computer. So first, if you come in here and let's say, um, let's say that there's this EQ here, like, um, I don't know, solid EQ. Let's say I don't want solid EQ to show up here. It's annoying. I don't want it popping up anymore. So I could simply go to more plugins right here. You click that and I have a lot of plugs. So this, some, this takes a while sometimes for the first time I do it. Anyways, uh, solid EQ, we type it in and we say, oh, this is the offender. But uh, normally if there's a check there, that's your cause, that's the cause of what you don't want. So you don't want a check there. Now you see mine, mine it's still, it, I'm looking it up, here it is, but for whatever reason, there's not a check there, but it's still in my list. And that's because this list, because um, maybe you've done that, this list is a part of a database. So you need to go to where your database is. So to do that, we're gonna come over to the browser. If it's not open, hit uh, Alt F8. You might need to click F8 twice and go to this plug icon here at the top. And here is the plugin database. So in the, the FL does this so that you could set up your own, your own sort of custom system. So we're just gonna go up here and we wanna get rid of the effect on the EQ section. So we're gonna go to window shell menu. You right click on it. Oh, uh, we'll just go to open. There you go, just select open. Okay, I thought there'd be an open file location. So here is where it is. Now these are not the plugins themselves. These are the things FL has created to sort of index your plugins. So we wanna get rid of the solid EQ. So I come over here and I hit delete. And now if we go to our list, I'm not sure we might need to restart FL actually. Oh, nope, it's gone. No more solid EQ. Solid EQ has been taken care of. So that's how you get rid of plugs from the list. Now let's say you wanna, you wanna completely remove the plugin. This one's a little more straightforward, I think. To do this, you go to where you store your plugins. So I store my plugins in a couple places. Um, let me show you how to figure out where you store. So if you come up and you go to your add plugin, more plugins, you can also get anywhere you can load plugins. You can come here too and we have more plugins. So we click on more plugins again, and then we go to manage plugins. And when you hit manage plugins, this is gonna bring up a list that's like way more intense and a lot more detailed. But anyways, these are the locations over here on the side that FL is looking at to tell, oh, use these plugins. So you see, I have a number of sort of redundant files. And so to do that, I, uh, I simply only check the ones that I want it to look at. It's gonna look at your most recent version of FL, the one that you have open as well. So the ones that have checks are the ones that'll show up in my browser. If you wanna just add one to your browser, you can do that. But if you wanna remove a plugin, you go to wherever one of these are and you can completely remove it. And so in my case, most people will have an option, let me close that, where if you go to your C drive, see my C drive is not massive, it's not very big. So I, um, I have a, my stuff sort of scattered across several drives. But basically, you go to your program files and your program files 86, which is the 32-bit version. Program files regular is your 64-bit plugs. And it should automatically have a VST file. Now I deleted my 32-bit one because I just have so many doubles and I never use the 32-bit stuff. So I just straight up removed it. But in my, um, let's go to my program files. There is a VST folder here. Oh yeah, and you have, if you have video editing software, you may have like separate VST folders, which have like your video editing plugins. Every now and then though, when you install a plug, it might wind up in your video editing stuff. So you might need to come in here to get rid of it. Like you see all the isotope stuff has, is over here. I actually have doubles of all the isotope stuff. Isotope, when it installed it, put it like all over the place. So, but anyways, we'll come down here and mine is in capitals, VST plugins. Yours might be lowercase. Um, when you install, the, when you install, they know, if it says VST plugins, it pretty much knows to put it in that folder. So here's like where all the plugins are. 
and this is where you would go to delete plugins. Now I showed a Native Instruments plugin, Solid EQ. Solid EQ is in a special location. Um, Native Instruments has their own deal. So I'm gonna come up to, so that's where you would go for like your other plugins and plugins are just .dll. They're dynamic link library files that have been compiled in a way that, you know, programs can read them and it fits the standard and all that. So to delete the plugin, you simply delete the DLL file. And there's different um, formats and stuff. Anyways, what we're gonna do now is let's go over, let me show you where the Native Instruments one is because that's kind of a common one. So Native Instruments puts all their plugs in a separate uh, location. Their file system's somewhat more complicated. But basically we're just gonna look for um, Native Instruments. And then you see all these plugs and folders. These are not where the DLL files are though. These are like different things for the plugs. We're gonna come down and you see we have VST 32-bit, 64-bit. I leave these alone because Native Access will update and change these. So I left these in their location where they were. But when you install, you just wanna be aware. So this is where they are and Solid EQ is right there. I'm not going to delete it because I like Solid EQ. Now you see here, I, um, now I've deleted the plugin and it's pretty much gone. So if you wanna remove stuff from the database, which is what I think a lot more of you really wanna do, you come over to the database and you just open it and you just come in here and you can adjust this and you can delete files here. No worries, they're not the actual plugins. And I showed you the effects, but if you wanna get rid of like a synthesizer, like maybe you have a synth you don't like, you come over to generators and you can get rid of it there. And so you go to generators you have all like, you know, your synths and stuff. These are like your effects. Now let's say, hey, I wanna add this, this back in. I didn't mean to delete it. Well, to do that, you simply click on this down arrow up here and you can go to add to plugin database, flag is favorite. Now, when you do this, it's gonna put it back and it will even take a screenshot for you and um, update it. Let me show you. So uh, now this is an effect and I want it to be in my EQ area because it's an EQ effect. And you see how Fruity Parametric EQ has like its own little like image, it's kind of nice. So that when I right click here and I open up my plugin picker, it's got like an image, you know, it's nice. A lot of these are just words and I have so many now that most of the time I'm just typing in what I want. Like I'm like, oh, I want the solid EQ. But you see it's not here anymore, EQ. I've removed it. So what we're gonna do, and again, you right click over it to open it. That's how you open that. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have my folder open because it's gonna know that, oh, I wanna put it in this particular folder. So I'm gonna go to uh, add plugin to database, flag is favorite. It's going to say this. Solid EQ will be added to this subcategory EQ. And it knows that because I have that folder open. So that's why you want that open. You click okay, there it is. Look, it's got a picture now. So maybe I wanna add pictures to all these like you know that'd be kind of nice when i opened it up i personally kind of like the words because more words fit on the screen than pictures but um i could like drag the enhanced eq on here like let's just say so i could load that up and say hey i'm gonna add, flag this add to database as favorite it's gonna add it and i hit okay now i have the enhanced eq has its own picture and um it didn't create a double I think in the past it might have created a double and you'd have to delete the old file, but in this case it didn't. So you go through and add pictures to everything. You come in here and open them and that's, and you just straight up delete the file. Now these ones have pictures. So when you delete them, you, you see how there's three, uh, there's three files now. One of them's like the picture. And so you'd have to delete all three of these to get rid of it. I believe to remove it from the list, you just have to get rid of the FL Studio preset file, but for the picture and stuff. So anyways, I would I would take all three out. I wouldn't leave like half deleted stuff lying around because you can regenerate the whole thing later and your, your file system would just get really crazy looking if you leave it like that. So anyways, that's how you delete plugs. That's how you add plugs when I'm doing things. And now you can have, as you can see, I have like a lot, I had a lot of plugins in that list, but I don't have very many here. And that's because I have um, sort of organized the ones that I use and I went to my plugins and I unchecked all the stuff I don't use. Now when you add a check, it's going to add it to just like a straight up regular category. So you see how these are all like, they have their own categories, very organized. Let's say I will check something, I don't know. Let's just check the control surface. So I've checked control surface and I, I exit out of that. Where did control surface? wind up well we've got a control surface in my controller category but there's a generic category called effect and sometimes stuff will get added to this um and oh control surface has just been added straight up down here 
So when you check stuff, it's just gonna toss it in a generic category. I've seen them wind up in a category named effect. I'm not sure if this changed with FL20, but uh, as you can see here, they're just being tossed on down here. And I have them in other places already in my database. So I don't want these here. So I'm gonna go back and I'm going to uncheck control surface. I'm gonna uncheck fruity balance. I'll close that. And now they are no longer there, they're gone. If I wanted to add them uh, here, I could. Now if I wanna move them around, like let's say that like I have my EQ, but it somehow wound up in the dynamics folder by accident. I'm like, I don't want this in the dynamics folder. Well, that's just a simple case of coming in, going to the thing you want, Let's say that these were in the wrong folder. I would just cut them. Let let me show you. Let's just put it in the dynamics category real quick, just as an example. So now I've moved it. You see, it's been removed from the EQ. And if I open up dynamics, there's my enhanced EQ. And I'm like, oh no, I didn't want to do that. So I'll go back. I'll grab that and I'll move it back to my EQ, like so. Control X, Control V. That's cut. So you don't have to do this delete the extra delete step. And. Uh, now it's back in my EQ. So now you can go and make a very organized um, database. I tend to use this less as I've obtained more and mixed more. I generally will favor the search function and I'll, when I get new plugins, I'll take the time to just experiment with them and get used to them. And then I'll have a place for them in my workflow. I sort of integrate them over time. Um, Cause when you get new stuff, it's kind of hard to know what, what, what it's gonna be good at at first. So anyways, that's my explanation on how to delete plugs, install plugs, move plugs around, change locations. Hopefully I've answered most every question you could really have about this topic. The only one I didn't really answer is let's say you want to add a new file for your, for your VSTs. I didn't explain that. So let me do that. We'll go to more plugs and you want to add an entirely new file. You've created a structure where you put all your VSTs and you want to add that file. Go to manage plugins and you want to add a new a new place where all your VSTs have been moved to. To do that, you just go to this uh, this little add folder icon. You simply navigate to your folder and add it. And then it will it'll scan it. And when you scan it, uh, you generally don't want to rescan stuff you've already scanned. So I recommend leaving these off. But if you're having like a problem, you might turn them all on, just get a deep scan and see what's going on. But anyways, you do that, you'd hit start scan, it would scan it and add the folder to your index. It might also automatically do this when you start up FL. Um, I don't think so though. So anyways, there you go. That's the answers to those questions. If you have any questions now, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.